Okay, folks, thanks for visiting the page again. This is Phil from Harris Automotive. I know it's been a while since so I posted and very busy here. I have to get better with it to get um, some more information out to you guys. Have a simple one for you. That I think I, I thought I would make this video to try to help you out. We have a 2008 Land Rover Range Rover Sport. What we're doing, we're actually doing what we're what we're actually going to do. We're going to actually convert the air suspension to the conventional um, McPherson strut coilover suspension using, follow me, using Strutmaster's um, replacement unit. I didn't record the um, the front because it's kind of straightforward. Two bolts for your struts, three bolts up top, sway bar link. This is pretty straightforward. I did not record that. The issue, what I'm recording is that what we're going to do to install these rear coil springs, these rear coil springs into the car. So the first step that we did is that these air springs was inside the car. They actually come over here. They actually sit up in this hole here. All right, they sit up in this hole here. There's a simple clip that goes in here. You just pull this clip out. This comes out, the air spring comes out. Prior to doing it, cut the air hose. Once you cut the air hose, it'll remove the air out of the air spring. This can compress a little bit and you'll be able to get this air spring out the car. Here's your next challenge. If you look at directions that strut masters give you, they want you to take the sway bar, they want you to take the sway bar link apart, they want you to take the rear shock off, which we did, we didn't take it off, but we have a rear shock loose, and they also wanted us to disconnect the steering knuckle and pull this down. That's not what we're gonna to do today. That's not what we're gonna to do today. So what we're gonna do at this point, here's the coil spring. I'm gonna show you. This coil spring is too long to go into the unit. So this is the tool that we're going to use. We're gonna compress this spring. What we wound up doing is that I'm, excuse me, the bigger part of the coil spring opening, you have a big, a big opening there and a small opening here. So what's happening is that the bigger part of the coil spring goes towards the top of the car. The bottom of the coil spring goes towards the lower control arm, excuse me. We're going to compress this coil spring. Let's hit this can. They give you these bushings. This bushing here, again, all it does is sits up inside the coil spring so that the coil spring does not shift once it's mounted. Pretty simple to install. The right hand top. We're gonna take this, install it through the hole, excuse me. Get our washer. Put our washer on. Lock washer. And a nut. Take our gun, just gonna tighten this up. That's it. Now, on the bottom, there's the same unit that goes on the bottom. This has a longer bolt. Same unit, we're just gonna separate this. This here, you can call it whatever you want, hockey puck, disc, whatever. Come around here for a second, Tyler. If you look right here, it has a lip. It does not go like so. So that way when the spring sits here, it doesn't move. The spring won't be able to move. We're going to install this inside the coil spring prior to us putting this in the car because we won't be able to do it. Watch. 
pull this out the way for now. I'm gonna take this. Now we have this compressed. Put this in. Ken is gonna come around and pry down. Okay. Right, get this back in there. Okay. Now, if you look right here, we have a hockey puck. You call it what you want. That's in. The cool spring going up top is in the seat. This is the best tool. I'm gonna to put a link in the description for this tool. All right. So now, so now we're gonna do. We're gonna get our bolt. We're gonna put this through. Matter of fact, that's a big washer on this one. At the bottom here, put your big washer first. Oops. No, one second. We're doing this live. Perfect. So we have that. We have another flat washer that goes on top. Excuse me. Pass on that right there, too. some pressure off of the spring. All right. So bring this over here. And we got some pressure off the spring. We could probably take it all the way out, but we don't want to do that. If you come here and look at this shock, I'm going to get this shock to go into this mount. Look how far we off. So let's get this suspension in the place where it should be. And this is all real time, this is fast. Strut Masters wants you to take everything apart. The reason why I made this video is because I wanted to show that you don't have to follow the directions fully. Almost here, almost. See the hole? We're almost there. Almost. Okay, that's in. Uh, let me see. So we take our bolt. We want to run our bolt straight through. We have a nut. Wait, come right here, Tyler. We have a nut. Now we know the suspension is in a position where it needs to be. I'm going to just loosen this up. Oops. 
and that is it. This here is a tool that you will need to do this job. I'm gonna turn this case over. Come show them picture this towel. We'll run this way. I forget where I got this from. Can you see that? I guess Eight Mile Lake, I think that's the vendor, McPherson Strut. It says extract the tool set, but I'm not sure why it says that, but look for that number there. That's what you need to do this job. All right, the rest of the stuff is straightforward. We are gonna. Um, we already got the other spring, come over here. We already got the other spring installed on the, uh, the driver's rear, other spring installed already. And we also have the other strut installed on the driver's front. Again, strut masters, they make a good unit. So instead of kind of chasing yourself with these suspension problems, they can get real costly for the customer. Just uh, if you're doing it yourself, now you know how to do it. But if you're a shop, sometimes you have to decide if we do an air, um, an air compressor in this vehicle and then the strut goes bad. Next thing you know, the customer is up to $4,000, $5,000 trying to fix this suspension system. Easier to convert it and it actually rides good. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.